Hello, and welcome to my reading of Manga Tips and Techniques, Volume 1, Heads and Faces. But first, an introduction. This scholar by Prismacolored Manga Set contains the essential drawing tools to get you started with manga artwork. You will learn how to draw the head and face of a manga character by reading through these tips and techniques. Then, give it a try. You'll be working mostly with the non photo blued color pencil, so make sure it's sharpened and ready to go. This pencil is special because it cannot be detected by scanners so you don't have to erase the lines of your sketch. Begin by sketching the head shape with the non-photo blue colored pencil. The head shape can be a simple oval or egg shape. Then divide the head into sections or foundation lines. Let the foundation lines guide you. Stick with your non photo blue color pencil and keep the facial features simple. To start, draw a circle in the center, then draw another circle on each side for the eye shown in the sketch. The nose is slightly lower than the eye line. The mouth should be halfway between the nose and the chin. Keep the ears even with the eye line. Using your non-photo blue colored pencil, add your character's eyes. Manga eyes are large and wide. This is where you can express your character's emotions. Emotions can also be expressed by the mouth, which can be simple or expressive. Less is more when drawing the nose. Eyes, nose, and mouth examples. Once you finish the face, you can add hair to your character with your non photo blue colored pencil. Hair can be spiked, curly, short, or long. Add fewer details in the areas where the light will be shining on your character. Now, it's time to add value with your graphite pencils. Trace over the final non-photo blue lines you drew. Add details in the eyes of your character. Leave a couple of highlights in the iris, then add texture to the air. You can even do this with a charisma red colored pencil for this. Hair examples. Once you finalize your details, remembering your light sources, use the black colored pencil to add shadows. Or, for a more dramatic effect, use the black markers! Here's another example of a manga character from a different angle. This has been a reading of Manga, Tips, and Techniques, Volume 1, Heads and Faces. Thank you all for listening and watching. I hope this was of use to you. I know it was to me. See you all next time. And take